Hello, my brothers and sisters. And I'm talking to you that don't believe yet either. I'm talking to you that are atheists, that are hard against God. I'm talking to you of all these other religions and sect, sects of religion that think that are serving God. I want you all to know, I don't hate you. I am you. But I want you to know that Jesus has risen on your behalf. That he was, he, the reason he was born of the virgin birth was to link unto all of us. Everyone from Adam. So through blood, um, he links with us. And then he died and took Adam with him. And everything that was controlling us, he took with him. And he put it to death. Then he rose from the dead, bringing us with him. So now that we're new creations in Christ. But what happens is, is that we're being deceived and lied to by the enemy. I know a lot of people don't believe in Satan, but he's around. And uh, everyone calls him Jesus or Allah or whatever you want to call him, Buddha. Um, what Satan does is he, he tries to be good and he wants you to be good. He wants you to bow down before him and grovel. He wants you, if you're just reach good enough, you're worthy of heaven. If you're just good enough, you're worthy of Zen. If you just do the right things and, and pray three times a day and whatever you need to do, then you're gonna, Allah's gonna accept you. Well, that's not God. You guys, has never been God. And that's the enemy, the God of this world who has blinded our eyes and convinced us that he is God, okay? I mean, this is for everyone. I know it sounds crazy, honey. Honey, I called you honey. But I know it sounds crazy. But it's the truth. Jesus is nothing like this. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is nothing like this, you guys. He is loving and kind, merciful. Oh yeah, he punishes us, but it's for our goodness. Okay, Satan punishes out of us just because he's spiteful. You gotta understand that Satan is the God of this world and he is trying to keep it. He's trying to keep you from going back to God. And he's very good at it. Okay? So Jesus has come one time to display his love for us. That he who died in our place, he took our punishment upon himself, even though he didn't deserve it. The God of the heavens, the eternal God, brought heaven to you. Okay? There's nothing you can do to get there. There's nothing you can do to receive it. You wouldn't even know what it looks like even if it was in front of you. So Christ brought it to you and you just don't know it yet because the darkness is blinding your eyes. Okay, and I'm here to hopefully reveal it and show you the symptoms so that maybe you can locate it in yourself. Okay, as for me, um, the symptoms were I was using lots of drugs, I was drinking, I was partying, seeking to have sex with everything I could, I was lifting weights to the extremes. I was, you know, just aggressive and trying to act way more manly, trying to overcompensate for my feelings of inferiority and, and my loneliness and my, you know, unattractiveness in my mind. I was trying to over, I was trying to do everything I could to compensate. Well, if you're seeking for your happiness in those things, that means that you're not happy. I mean, it's like a tattoo. There's nothing wrong with tattoos, so don't get your panties in a bunch. But what I'm saying is that if you were truly happy with yourself and you were perfect the way you were, in your own conscience, you wouldn't have to put a tattoo on yourself. You just wouldn't, you wouldn't do it because it would be like defi defiling you, defacing you. You know, or if I was happy with my life, I wouldn't have to medicate every night with alcohol, right? Or if I was, secure my masculinity, I wouldn't have to be running out trying to get into fights all the time, would I? Or if I was wanting the approval of women, if I didn't need the approval of women, I wouldn't be trying to, I wouldn't be ending up in relationships where I'm Captain save where I'm always pursuing the women that flee from me. And the ones that wanted me, I just, you know, I didn't want because it wasn't, I couldn't earn it, you know what I mean? So the things we do tell on us, okay? And so today, if you're, if you're feeling empty and you're seeking, you know, medication in any one of these ways, weightlifting even, 
or even good things. You're out there trying to do, helping every person you can and you're doing all this stuff, but you're still empty inside. You're still trying to do something to bring yourself some happiness and some peace in your life. Well, I'm here to tell you that those things never will. Even though they look promising and you, it feels like you're going in the right way, you're not. Um, Jesus is the answer. Satan has deceived us all, everybody. He really has. And, and the, the funniest thing is, is now the, the world is so angry and pushing itself away from Jesus. Yet, Jesus didn't do anything wrong to you. Jesus is the only one that loves you. You guys got to understand this. Satan is trying to actively keep you from coming home to your happiness, to a life of peace and joy. His minions are running around in religious garb. Just so you know, so you don't, you don't even definitely look towards the church. You know, because if, if I was going to be an enemy to God, the place that I would defile first would be the churches. And he's been very successful in that. So that's why you can't look at Christians to make your, your assertions about Jesus or assertions about Jesus. You just can't. You have to take Jesus alone. You know, because Christians, I mean, most of us are just fuck-ups anyway. You know what I mean? We're all of us are just the lowest lives there is. We're, we're the ones that acknowledge that we needed help. And so we're the, probably the easiest praise, uh, which would make sense even in God's economy, because he takes the things that are foolish and makes them wise to confound the things that are wise. He takes the weak and makes them strong to confound the things that think they're strong. God is crazy. He'll take you and transform you right now. He will. He did it to me. I'm living proof. I'm still an asshole, but at least I'm at peace. I enjoy my life. I have a life that is just gifted. I, I finally am able to enjoy that I have a wife and a daughter on my love more than anything. I have a son on the way. I've got a nice house. I mean, I've got... <coughs> but these aren't what made me happy. God couldn't give me these things as long as I thought they were going to make me happy. Before I met my wife, I was fully satisfied in the Lord. That was after a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of failures as a Christian. I mean, failures according to the world's idea. But I want you guys to know, I can honestly tell you that when I met my wife, I was able to enjoy her. See, Solomon writes a, a proverb somewhere that, you know, somewhere in the Proverbs, but he says, you know, this evil thing that I've seen on the earth is that God has given a man all things, but not the capacity to enjoy it. And so I can tell you right now, everything I went through and all the destruction I went through in my life and all the failings and all the anguish and everything else was to get me to this place to where I can enjoy my life. I enjoy my wife. I enjoy my daughter. I mean, my wife, you know, I get me in arguments and stuff just like everyone else, but I can actually enjoy her and I can be thankful for her and I can be thankful for my daughter and the baby that's on the way. I can be thankful for my house, my dogs. I can be thankful for my life and enjoy it. And this is here for you too. Um, speaking of my daughter, there she is. So I got to get going this morning. But you guys just give Jesus a chance. Seek him. Don't look at religion. They're just fallible people. Go to Jesus and he'll set you free. All right, my brothers and sisters. If I can help you in any way. Um, I will, if you need me to elaborate, or if you can, if, you know, if you're in the Idaho area or, you know, Boise area, um, let me know. I can, maybe we can meet and go have some coffee and we can talk about this because I, I want you to know I'm not here for your destruction. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to set you free. I'm here to lift you up and, and share with you how I became free, which was Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Well, Jesus Christ means Messiah, but... So I just said, Jesus, Messiah, Messiah. But I want you guys to know, he, he is the Messiah. He is the chosen Holy One of God. He is the prophesied Messiah. Through all, all the scriptures, all point to him everywhere. And he came and fulfilled it all. I mean, the, the wonder of the scriptures just will blow your mind. Not as much as Jesus himself, though. So, anyways, folks. May peace be with you. And I, I pray that you overcome Satan and that you, you let him go 
and, and let Jesus in. All right, you guys? Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.